is welcome for this establishment. Hello, friend. Well, I'm not really in a buying mood, but I guess I'll take a look. Everything here is proudly made right here in the USA. Please come again. Please feel free to browse my... Hey, mister. We got the Second Amendment for a reason, don't we? The marshal best step up post haste. Men starting to question his steel. <laughs> Why do I feel like I just got robbed? Couldn't just pass by and let him kill you. This ain't nice. I know. Come on. That's a good price. This is a messy one.
Yours now. You'll get along fine here, son. Now get gone. We all have problems, and we must solve them together, or we die alone. <laughs> Look out, Ma Man. Better not pick my pocket. Someone there. might as well have this. Excuse me, mister. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Look, 
Don't ask how, but I know what you're about to do. You don't want to do this. What the hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, mister. I'm just here to say I don't think you should go through with it. Your wife, she loves you. Shit, mister. I don't know who or what you are, but I guess I'm grateful. I guess you're right. I was raised better than this. Don't mention it. Go on, man. Slap him, mister. Come to the right place. Well, look at you. Hello. Well, what do we got here? How are you doing? Well, then. Take you for a short trigger man, sir. Something special you're looking for? Hey, how's it going? Hey, there. Here we are. That should do it. Hello, sir. As you can see, I carry the finest artillery. Very well. I feel like I just got robbed. Nothing, lady. Anytime. Listen, 
dirty. Come on, let's get this over with. Let's go. What you searching for, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And yeah, we've been together 50 years now, me and my darling Annabelle. She's always loved these, these wild fever few that uh, grow around this place. You know. But she's, she's getting on now in years, and you know, it's hard for her to get up and about. So I want to... I want to bring her a lovely bouquet for our anniversary. Well, I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. Oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. Yeah, I'd love it. Sure, bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh? If you could go look for them flowers, I'd really appreciate it.
don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> That'd be your next lucky mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarland. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bunny back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Get out from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is a land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Anything happen to us, sir? Come on, let's get this charmer to tumbleweed. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization of the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is the line in their pockets. <laughs> Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke Williamson's right hand man. In other words, a glorified Harris boy. Wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill standards have slipped. We already filled you with late once. You ugly Deke's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed, a lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the...